John and Jennifer Delacio. Oh, we said that in harmony. Let's try that again. John and Jennifer Delacio. Delacio. We did good twice in a row, honey. You're doing good. All right. We do want to say Merry Christmas and Happy New Year to you and yours in Jesus' name. I sent out a prophetic word, and they're not poems. I want to share it. And I want to share it now during this Christmas time because it, it had to do... Let me, let me go on here. I sent it to our dear friends. And here's what it started off like this, Jen. Dear friends, 2022 will be a year for the true. Well, what does that mean? Well, if there's a false someplace, there must be a true. If there's a true, there must be a false. I'm believing for those who stood true in their godly convictions, saying, I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ. I'm going to stand to my godly conviction. Even when I go to the polls, I'm going to vote for Jesus. Then good things are coming to you. I'm very excited about what I see happening in the next 10 years, I'll say it that way, off the top of my head. I am very, very excited. God, and now many of you are picking this up from other countries. So you pray for America, pray for us, and God will bless you and, and your country also. But I'm so excited about what I see for the future of America. God has his hand on this country. God has his hand on Israel. The Bible says, pray for the peace of Jerusalem. He'll bless them that bless thee, and he'll curse them that curse you. Do you know why God has his hand on this country? Because he loves it? Huh? Because he loves it? Yes. Brilliant. Why does he love it? <laughs> <laughs> he created it? Yeah. Because there was a people who said, we're going to step out in faith. And we're going to go to a place where we can worship our God and have our freedom. And because they came and because they planted and because they grew and because they did and because they wrote the Constitution of the United States and other things and wanted to vote biblically, because of that freedom in America, because of what they fought for and gave their lives for many of them. America has had the freedom to be a tool of evangelism, to tell people about Jesus around the world. That's why God has his hand on this country. Because this country has been a great evangelistic tool to tell people around the world about Jesus. That's why. That's why the enemy hates us, wants to shut us down, take away our freedom of speech, because we are a voice for God to tell people about Jesus. That's why the devil hates us so much, that Jezebel spirit trying to stop the prophetic word from getting out. America has been the catalyst and the front runner of telling people about Jesus from around the corner to around the world. That's why the devil hates us. That's why the devil wants to stop us. So, many times when God gives me a word, and I can feel it coming. I feel the presence of the Lord coming, and I just get by myself because God's getting ready to speak. See, there, the difference between a priest... And a prophet. Do you know the difference between a priest and a prophet? Would you like to know? Sure. <laughs> okay. The priest talks to God for the people. The prophet talks to the people for God. Does that make sense? That's why we ought to be king, prophet, or priest. And so many times, another word for prophet in the Old Testament, and the Bible, by the way, is poet. You didn't know that, did you? And somebody said, yeah, I knew it. All good for you. <laughs> I mean, I'm not trying to be sarcastic. It just comes natural. But listen, that's why many times prophet 
pro prophecy comes in. That's why I love the King James. It's such a tongue twister. It's a thieves and the thousand of thieves. But it's very poetic. And basically, and not basically, Judge Judy would get mad when you say basically. No, <laughs> precisely, it is the most accurate translation of the Bible. It's in the King James. A couple mistypes, or I don't know if I want to say it that way, is Holy Spirit is not an it. It says Spirit itself. The Holy Spirit is not an it. Holy Spirit is a person. Holy Spirit himself. That's another teaching. But let's go back to where we are. Do you want, now, I want you all to pray for me and each other that God keeps us healthy. I want to be around. I worked hard. Did I work hard? You have a hard working husband. Now, Jennifer and I, how many years have been married? 92? <laughs> five, five, six? I think five? It's five. We got married in 2016. Mm -hmm. We got married in two, May 2016. So I remember that. Was it May 14th? I'm glad you guys are here. All right. We got married May 14th, 2016. But we've known one another forever. Now, because you're so beautiful and so young looking that people will have a hard time to believe this. We know one another for how many years? Since 1992 or three or something? Maybe like seven, 19. Huh? 97 or something. 97? Since 2097? 19. No, you came to the church in Wildwood, and that was before that. Anyway, we know one another a long time. <laughs> I never forget our anniversary. Because the people in the church remind me. And guess what? No, I know what anniversary. May 14, 2016. All right. That was a great day. And I don't know my age. Do you know that, people? I do not know my age. When we go, to, I don't know my age. I really don't. I don't know my age. I don't want to know my age. I never knew my age since I went in the Army. They made me say it. And because actually I was too young, I signed, I signed up to in the army before I was old enough. You know why I signed up in the army? I heard God say, go in the army. And I did. But I was too young. And they told, called my mother and said, your kid's here trying to get in the army. They made me wait until I was old enough. And uh, that was very young also. But a great baseball player said this. He, he pitched. I think he was a pitcher, I think. Anyway, he played. I don't know what he was. But he was a baseball player, that I know. And he was playing into his 40s. And people said, you know, about talked about his age because that was they thought that was old for somebody to be in sports like that. And this is what he said to them. He said, I don't look at it that way. Biden stole this, but he messed the whole story up. This is what, what they asked, they said to him. He said to them, he said, I don't look at it that way. And they said, how do you look at it? And he said, how old would you be if you didn't know your age? That's powerful. How old would you be if you didn't know? So I don't know my age because I might start acting it. Somebody said, act your age. I said, God forbid. <laughs> No, there's Manny right there. Manny's amazing. How old are you, Manny? 85. Huh? 85. Uh-oh, he knows his age. But, well, <laughs> but he doesn't act his age. He is amazing. Manny, you're amazing. Anyway, I don't know what I said all of that. Somebody just needed to hear it. Oh, I know why I said that. Thank you for reminding me. You know why I said that? I want to be around. We've seen the bad and the ugly. I want to see the good now. I have fought for this country, and I have fought for local churches. I have fought Jezebels here, there, and everywhere. You know what's frustrating? When you go to a church, it's being attacked by Jezebel spirit, and the preacher wants you to come to deal with it. But then when you deal with the Jezebel, the Jezebel gets mad, they don't protect you. That's called a coward. 
It's called a coward. I'll tell you one story about that, and then I'll get off this kick. We're getting ready to do the teachings on freedom from the Jezebel influence. And I was going to a very large ministry many, 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 many times. Everything was going good. And the senior minister brought in a person to help run the ministry. It was a person that he had fired years ago. They wanted to come back. And everybody told the senior minister, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. And he said, no, I need somebody like that to deal with the things. See, he wanted to be a good old boy. The question is, do you want to be a good old boy or a man of God? So they brought that person back, and that person had a Jezebel spirit. The person actually said this, Delacio thinks that I'm a Jezebel. They said, I'm not a Jezebel. That's just my personality. I said, well, that's too bad for you. I said, it's going to be harder for that person. See, if it's a curse, we could break it. If it's a spirit, get out. But if it's a personality, you're going to have to crucify the flesh. So I went there and thought about it. And the thing got stirred up. It was a free stride demon. And I felt the anointing and it manifested. So when I went back there, we're standing in the cafeteria, who we helped build and gave the chairs to and the tables to and a lot of other things to. And the senior minister said to me, John, I was going to be there a week. He said, John. I don't want you to talk about that Jezebel spirit thing. I said, why not? And the senior minister said, because everybody knows who it is. And I said, well, then why don't you deal with it? And the senior minister said, well, John, I don't, when they touch my arm like that, it scares me. Well, John, you have to understand, her husband gives a lot of money. So what can I do? I said, well, I know what I'm going to do. And he said, what? I said, I'll tell you tonight. And that night, the service started. And I said, I'm already committed to be here for the week, but I want to announce right now, I ain't never coming back here. I didn't. He offered me so much money and stuff to go back there. I said, no. You're not going to protect the man of God, and you're going to tell me what I could preach and what I'm not going to preach? If you don't want to hear what God says to say, you got the wrong preacher. And you know what happened? Six months later, his son sent me an email. John, I just want you to know that person that you said out of Jezebel's spirit that we didn't deal with, the one who was attacking you, she's now attacking this ministry. And that big place that I went to many times, it's it shut down. It's not there no more. Well, it's there, but they don't have it no more. What you tolerate will never change. Anyway, I was just trying to tell you about this prophetic word I got that people were calling a poem. Of course, it sounds poetically. Are you ready? I'm going to read it. 2022 will be a year for the true. It's almost there, but you must pursue. Just stay true. I'll show you what to do. This is God talking. This is not a poem. Hello, this is not a nursery rhyme. This is not, we're not in Disney. Don't lose heart. There's coming a new start. Enemy hit you with her in pain. Ah. You felt you would go and say, I feel it on me now. Because me you did not blame, I will bring you healing and gain. I'll bring you direction and protection, not only you, I love this part, but your homeland too. Just stay true, and you will see, you in America are special to me. 2022, you must pursue. 23, touch and agree. 24, I'll open new door. 25, the year of more. Ah, 
This is for me. I'll share it with you. That wasn't in the, <laughs> right there. I'll go on. 2025, 20, the year of more. You can make it. Fear and doubt, shake it. 2026, I'll be up to new tricks. I can't wait to see what God's going to do in 26 after this. Don't miss out. Begin to shout. I'll bring you out. You and your land are the apple of my eye. Yes, I know Israel is the apple of his eye, but so am I. I know that God loves it. Well, I don't want to share this with you because we're one. I know God loves them, but we're special. Darlene thinks she's the one. but And you should think that too. Darlene, don't get jealous. All right. The apple of the eye, don't cry. Look to the sky. To lack and debt, say goodbye. That is powerful. I'm, I already know some of the things that God's going to do in the next several years. I see into the future of America. It looks a whole lot better than it is right now. Jennifer, I look into your future. It looks a whole lot better than it is right now. You're not going to look any better because you, I don't know how that could get any better. You're just already beautiful. But I look into your future. It looks a whole lot better than it is right now. I want to look into the camera. Can you just zoom in a little bit here? I want to talk to them. I look into your future. It looks a whole lot better than it is right now. And I look into the future of America. It looks all, It's looking pretty good, by the way. It's looking pretty good. So... When you go to the polls, vote for Jesus. How do you vote for Jesus? Vote the Bible. How do you know who to vote for? Then get out of that church, if you had to ask that question. Wow. I would say Shazam, but one of our viewers don't like me to say that word. Things are looking pretty good. So, Jennifer... I have an assignment for you. You know what? I miss God gave me you to keep me young. I want to be around you know, 26 and because God's going to be up to new tricks. He didn't tell me what they were, but I can surmise. But I knew you know, what God's going to be doing the next several years. And it's exciting. It's what we've been fighting for, believing for, praying for. It's already happening. Just watch and see, and you'll know there's been a prophet in the midst of the... Well, Merry Christmas and... Happy New Year. From... John and... Jennifer Delacio. You did it. You beat me to the punch. We love you. I have the best wife in the world, and I hope all you guys think that you have the best one also. But we love you. You don't... I have favor. Do you know what favor is? It means people bless you when they don't even want to. Favor, one day of favor is worth many days of labor. Somebody said, you believe in that stuff? I have a friend who believes in it, and he pulled up to a McDonald's, and he ordered a French fry and a soda or something, and he put the little tab on there, and it said, free fry. And he looked at the guy in the car with him, and he said, free fry, favor, he said. And the guy next to him said, you believe in that? And he said, what does yours say? And he pulled it off and it said, try again. So one day of favor is worth many days of life. Merry Christmas and... Happy New Year. From... John and... Jennifer... Who? Delacia. And all of our friends and partners. So we just said it for you to the rest of you. Enjoy this. Watch it. Share it. Can they share this one? They can share this one. You can share this one. It's not unlisted. All right. We love you. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. What a time.